Prachtige ervaring. Service zei het. Moet je vanaf. Hey guys, I wanted to uh, just kind of get on my soapbox about something here for a second because I hadn't gotten on a soapbox in a while, so I thought I would today. Um, in the news the other day, there's big things about, oh, we're 104 months into Afghanistan. Oh no, 104 months. Oh, it's longer than Vietnam now. Oh no, oh no. Bush's war. Bush's war. So anyway... Uh, I do want to touch on some figures here that I, ju I just did this at work yesterday. I just went zzz, some paper, okay? Scratch paper here. That's all I did. All right. Afghan war, okay? A thousand people killed. All right. 104 months. A little more than a thousand now because I think four guys, unfortunately, got attacked today. But give or take, a thousand guys. All right. 104 months. Vietnam War, 103 months. 103. 58,000. 58, comma, zero, zero, zero. 58,000 died. Okay? Uh, in 103 months. Okay? That's 9.6 a month in the Afghan war here. 9.6 guys a month. Vietnam, that's 563 guys a month. 563. Okay, that's a third of a guy a day so far for 104 months in Afghanistan and about 18 and a half guys a day in Vietnam. Okay, now a life is a life. It doesn't matter if you've lost one or you've lost a million in one day. Um, you know, a loss is a loss. It's terrible. It's awful. But, you know, all things considered... I'm not talking about is, do you believe in the war, do you not believe in the war, do you believe in the Vietnam War, do you not believe in the Vietnam War. I'm just talking about numbers games here. That in the numbers games, hands down, Bush's war, Bush's war is going swimmingly compared to the Vietnam War that LBJ and Kennedy started. And LBJ escalated. Kennedy started it, LBJ escalated it. Um... And then Nixon had to go clean up. So, yeah, much, much better here in the Afghanistan war than the Vietnam war, okay? I'll take a third point three one guys a day. I mean, you got to go three days before somebody dies uh, on average. You know, like I said, that's an average, guys. It's an average because we had four guys die in the helicopter just today. So, uh, you know, we... <coughs> That's an average. So just for fun, I was adding in, you know, the Iraq War stuff, the the Iraq War, World War Two. Just again, this is just numbers. I'm not talking about do you believe in the war? Do you not believe in the war? Do you think it's just? Do you think it's unjust? Because there's people out there that thought World War Two was unnecessary and we shouldn't have gotten involved in that. The small amount of people, but they're out there. Um, the Iraq War. We've been there 86 months. Okay. 86 months, that's 49 guys a day, okay? We've lost 4,200 guys in the 86 months. That's so 49 guys a month. 49 guys a month. 1.6 guys a day. 1.6 guys a day, 49 a month, okay? If you add the Iraq and the Afghanistan together, you get 104 months, okay? You start for 104 months. It's 5,200 guys, 5200, zero, zero. 50 guys a, week, uh, a month, 50 guys a month, 1.65 guys a day, 1.65, you have to go three or four days to get two guys, okay, it's incredible, because, I mean, compared to the Vietnam numbers, that's awesome, two guys a day compared to... 18 and a half guys a day in Vietnam. Again, I'm just playing numbers. I'm not saying a life is more important than another life. I'm just saying. I'm not saying do you agree or disagree with the war. I'm just saying. All right. And then I just for fun I did Viet I did uh, the the World War Two. Half a million guys. Okay, that's half a million of our guys. Okay, guys. Conservative estimate: 
our troops, we lost half a million people in World War II. Lost about 70 million people in the whole war. Whole world, 70 million people died, okay? That was a real war. This is a brush fire we're dealing with here in Afghanistan and Iraq. These are just little, these are just nothing. 70 million people, okay? Um, 10 million of those were Jews, gypsies, gays, um, those kind of folks that went to the gas chambers and Auschwitz and all that jazz in Germany. I mean, you know, that was 10 million people just rounded up and killed because they were gay or Jewish or Romanian or whatever. You know, Hitler just said, you know what? I don't like you. You're going to the gas chamber. I mean, 10 million people right there. That's just nuts. Nuts. But anyway, we lost half a million guys. 500,000. That's 48 guys. Well, that's 48 months, excuse me. 48 months. The war is 48 months long. Starting from where Japan, after Japan bombed us Pearl Harbor. 48 months. 10,417 guys a month. 10,417 guys a month. Just freaking unbelievable. And that was about 340 guys a day. 342 guys a day. Okay, I know that I, I, I'm a big history buff read all the time. Um, I wrote in my books that I've read about uh, D-Day uh, by Ambrose. I think I got it on the shelf right there by Stephen Ambrose. We lost 1,500 guys. 1,500. That's 5 comma, excuse me, that's 1 comma dash 500. 0, 0. 1,500 guys in one training exercise for D-Day. One. One training exercise D-Day. We lost 1,500 guys. That <laughs> We've just now lost 1,000 guys in, our, in Afghanistan. So, I, I don't know. I, I'm just saying all this to say that uh, when Code Pink comes out, when, when these anti-war nut job comes out, and go, oh, we've lost all these people, all these people's lost. You need to step back and say, okay, Regardless if you support the war or not, you can't say that this has been a costly war manpower-wise, okay? Because it has not, okay? This has been probably one of the cheapest wars as far as cost of life goes for the American soldier ever. <laughs> because you go back from here, like I said, in World War II, we lost half a million. World War One, we lost, I don't think we lost half a million, but we lost hundreds of thousands. Um, Civil War between the states, the War of Northern Aggression, we lost millions, millions of Americans died. So, uh, this is nothing, this is, okay, so, I'm just saying that to say that you guys on the left need to back up from the numbers like this is some amazing thing that we've lost a thousand people in, in, in or that the war's gone 104 months. Those kind of numbers are irrelevant when you stack them up against history, okay? Again, not saying you agree or disagree with the war, because you can disagree with the war and have some legitimate points for disagreeing with the war. Doesn't mean I agree, that I agree with you, just means you can have some points. Um, but anyway, War is not numbers. War is victory. Okay? War is conflict. War is achieving a goal. <laughs> okay? So, that's what war is. It doesn't matter what the numbers are. Unless you're stacking them against historical facts. Okay? You know, obviously, if we were losing as many men as we did in Vietnam, and... and and that they were draft numbers as well. See, that plays a big number in it too, guys. People weren't drafted, okay? Guys right now are not drafted. They're all volunteers. In fact, guys right now, the 19, the 18, the 19, the 20, the 21-year-old guys that make up the core of the Army right now, those guys, they were in junior high when the towers went down, okay? They were in middle school and junior high. So those guys know exactly what they're doing when they join the army. They knew, they knew when they took the oath that uh, I'm going overseas and I'm probably going to have to fight big time. They knew it. 
It wasn't some nebulous maybe like in the 80s where you could kind of join the army and, you know, you might have to fight, you might not, but the only thing we did in the 80s was Grenada, and that was about it. That lasted, what, two weeks? Uh, so this, this is totally different thing. Totally different thing. And the guys joining today know that they're joining. They're not drafted. They know what they're getting into. So that all plays into the numbers. And you can't just say, oh, 104 months, and expect it to have some impact because it doesn't. So anyhow, that's me on my soapbox talking about the numbers and uh, whether it means anything or not to you. Okay. <laughs> all right. I got to go do some stuff. A lot of fights. It was... Uh...